Hi, this is Jillian with another episode of Online Marketing Easy Peasy, because marketing your small business online should be easy peasy. Today, we're going to talk about a cool tool that you can use to make marketing videos, and these would be marketing videos to market perhaps a blog post you've written, and this is a free and easy to use tool called Lumen5, and what it allows me to do is take an existing blog post and make a short little video about that blog post that I could put on social media. So I'm going to show you take you on a tour of this, show you how it works, and see if you like it. So here we are at Lumen5. It is free to get started. You can have a free forever account, which allows you to make, I believe, about five videos a month. Um, you don't get all the features in terms of like customizing for brand colors and stuff like that, but it's a great way to jump in and get started. And um, they've got music tracks and they've got uh, graphics you can use and, and small little video clips. So it's a great tool. Just jump in, see how it goes. And if it's something that you'd like, you can go further and get a premium account in a later time or just continue to use the free program. It's up to you. So let's see how it all begins. So you would go to lumen5.com and then you're going to come here. You're going to have to start an account and the account's free and then go to the dashboard. So click on the dashboard and here you are, and this is where all of your videos will be stored. And once again, like I said, on the free account, you only get five videos for the month, but that's probably enough. If you're writing more blog posts than that, then you'll have to figure it out. But I don't write more than five a month, so I'm fine with that. So what I need to do is go up here where it says click, uh, sorry, where it says create video. So click that button, create video. And then here is it asks you, okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to create a video from scratch? Uh, do you want to start one with a template or just do one with a link? So I'm going to just show you how to do it with a link because that's easy peasy. And that's what our channel is about. So I'm going to go to my website and here is the blog post that I've written. So as you actually, my partner wrote this, I didn't write it. So if you look, you'll see that there's a featured image and then of course there's text and there should be some more images here. It's all about LinkedIn, some more images and you go through. So you, you see there's a number of images in the post and Lumen is smart. It's going to suck in some of these images right into our little marketing video for us. And it's even going to throw in some extras as well. So what I need to do is I need to get the link. So I just go up here, I'm going to copy the link and go back to Lumen. And then here where it says start with a link, I'm going to paste my link in and click go. So now it says choose the video format. So here I can decide, first of all, what social media platform do I want to post this little video to? And like we're talking, this is gonna be like a minute long. This is only gonna be a tiny, tiny little video. So think of it as bait to get people off of social media, to get them interested in my blog post so they'll go to my website. So that's the whole plan here. So I look through and for instance, if I wanted Facebook, do I want the 16 by nine, which is sort of the uh, desktop computer version, or do I want a mobile phone, which is like the one-to-one -one ratio? Do I want it to be one of those Facebook stories up in the top? Do I want it to be a carousel ad? All sorts of different things. So it's got Facebook, it's got Instagram, it's got Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, and LinkedIn, and Pinterest, and even custom. So I want LinkedIn. I wrote, we wrote an article about LinkedIn, so I want to post it on LinkedIn. And so I can choose between the 16.9 ratio, which is desktop and computer, or newsfeed, which would be the mobile phone version. I'm just going to go with the 16.9 because LinkedIn's actually pretty good in that you can post for that and it still looks good on a phone. So I'm just going to click that one. So now that I have said what I'm, what format I want my video to be, now I choose a theme, which is it's going to make it nice with titles and different colors. And here's the difference between the paid and the uh, free model. The free model, you have to just choose a theme and go with the colors. So if I like this purple, I can't change it to my brand colors of my, you know, my custom blues or pinks or reds or whatever I'm using. So you're going to have to go through and, and choose which one is best for you, but just know you can't customize it. 
you would have to upgrade to do that. So I am a purple person. I love purple. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one here. And as you can see, it will take her away. As you can see, it brings in my blog post. And this program has artificial intelligence. And it tells us right up here, our AI, our artificial intelligence, handpick sequences for you. Does the story flow, flow well? And if it didn't, I can change them. I can change this text and say, no, I don't want this. I want this instead. So it's just kind of going through and kind of seeing what it thinks is important and if you don't agree you you can customize these and change them every step of the way so think of your video as a series of frames so this is frame number one so this is going to be the cover and it's like well that looks pretty good and then here would be frame number two so it's bringing in these these headlines i can change this uh, I, if i don't like this picture i can change the picture and it's trying to make everything in pictures because that's what a video is, a series of pictures. So it's taking something that's totally text-based, except for a few pictures, and making it a video, which is like frame after frame of pictures. So we can go through here and it's taking the text. If we don't like the text, we can change it around. Um, these are not my pictures. These are pictures that it was like, okay, I don't have any more pictures to pull. It's come up with some other pictures that it wants to insert there. If I don't like these pictures, I can swap them out. So that's kind of nice to know. Um, so far, it's looking actually quite nice. I wouldn't want to change it. Might say, I don't like that. That's kind of ugly. It's just like suggested picture of what? I don't know. So all I have to do is click over here to media and it's talking about Google. So maybe I want to have a picture that would represent um, searching on Google. So I can kind of go through here and, and see, well, what do I think would be a good Google search picture? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, let's see. I don't know. It's hard to try and figure out what to use. Let's just go with this. So if I like that, then what I would do is I just drag it over here and there's my new picture. So easy peasy. How, how easy is that? So that's really nice. Um, go down to the next one and it's like, uh, okay, maybe I don't want to have the president on. He's kind of controversial right now. So it says we're hearing that Facebook is. So this picture is about Facebook. So maybe we'll bring something in that has Facebook on it. So here's, here's a, um, Here's an icon with Facebook on it. So if I bring that in here, now I have a picture of Facebook. And it you notice that it did both of these, sort of the main photo and sort of a subphoto to keep typing. And what's nice too is that I can even change not just the picture, but I can change the layout. So if I say, well, it's kind of hard to see that text, I can say, this is what I'm looking at right now. Maybe I want this one. This this might be a little bit easier to see. And it still has Facebook in the corner. So that's good. I can make it more of a quote. You know, so I can just choose whatever one I want. So I kind of like that. So I'll leave it at that. So here, oh, this is good. So it's got, you know, the Facebook up. And again, maybe this one might be a little hard to read with, with white on the white. So maybe I'll look at this and say, um, oh, maybe this one's kind of cool with uh, that. So let's change it to that way. And if I'd say, oh, you know, I think I'd rather have it. This one, I can change it to this one. I can change it to these ones. You know, so, so sort of whatever you want to do. So let's kind of go with that because that makes it a little bit different, the graphic on this side. So just keep going down. And um, again, if I like this, I can just leave that. Maybe I want to have a picture of LinkedIn. So I can go back to the media and see if there's anything here with, oh, this, this might be a good one for LinkedIn. So grab that one there. And then, oh, doesn't that look good? So we're talking about LinkedIn and then it's kind of got the little magnifying glass on LinkedIn. And then here is some more stuff on LinkedIn and people here, they're talking about people are viewing your, are, are viewing your organic posts. And then here you can have a, uh, you can upload your logo if you so choose. Um, I, 
kind of had some problems with this, but anyways, you can upload your logo and then you can customize what you want this to say. So you can, it says standard share this video, or I would like it to say, read our full post at, and then I'll go ahead and put our website, which is, so I don't have to sit here typing. Just copy that, go back and pop it in there. There we go. So read our full blog post at, and then there's the link to our website. And that would be it. And now um, the other thing is at the very, very end, it's going to put in a credit and you, um, you can't change that. That's part of it being free because it's trying to advertise itself. So it's going to say at the very end, um, this was made with Lumen 5, something along that line. So if you don't want that, you got to upgrade. If you want to use the free print, you got to let them advertise. So that just kind of makes sense. So if I look at this and I kind of look through here, and of course, too, I can change any of the text. Um, so here it says, even if they don't have a Facebook account, uh, you know, we can put something here. Uh, searching on Google. Oh, you just literally cannot spell when you are trying to uh, show somebody it, something in a video. So anyway, so I just changed that te text. So you see how easy it is to make any kind of changes we can just go through. And I'm not taking the time here to review everything, but I could change any of this text now that I want and make it make more sense. Or I could just leave it as it is because I'm, people are just going to really kind of get a feel for what you're talking about and then go to the real blog post and take it from there. And then, of course, I would put that note in the top of my LinkedIn post on top of my video. So at this point, if I wanted to, I could even add music. So if I go over here and I can listen, they have tons and tons of tracks. So I could listen to a track here. Wow, that's really loud. And I could have that as well. But for the most part, People aren't listening to music on LinkedIn, so I'm just not even going to bother because it's just going to make my video bigger and take more time to publish. So if I want to see how this looks, I can do a preview here and and then we see that it's going to go through and create see, see the whole video for us. Now, I thought we had changed that page, so let's just go back and check. So I thought we had changed this layout. Uh, let's see, did we change this layout? Huh, maybe we didn't. Now, if we want with more options, because it, it's kind of hard to read, I can make this actually darker or lighter. There we go. So if I make it darker like that, do you see how the text contrasts a little bit? So it kind of stands out a bit more. So that's probably what I would do with that one, just so that it reads better or I could go here and I could change the layout and I could choose this layout instead. So maybe that's even better and then it doesn't have to be so dim. So let me go back and make that not quite as dim now. That can be nice and bright. So there we go. That's pretty, pretty good contrast. So I'll do apply there. That just, I don't know, looked, looked better to me. That looked better to me. So, um, Okay, so at this point, I can preview it, and um, I'm going to just go ahead and publish it, but I could preview and see the whole video. If it had music, I would also hear the music, but I'm just going to go ahead now, and I am going to publish. So click Publish. You can upload it straight to Facebook. If you've seen my other videos, I never recommend uploading anything directly to anything. It's just you don't know if, it, if it's going to cause problems or give company's access to all your contacts or who knows what. So I always download everything to my computer and then I upload it naturally. And with LinkedIn anyways, you always want to have native video that you upload. Never do links. LinkedIn does not like links. So you'll get more views if you upload natively. So I'm going to go ahead and click the download. 
and it tells me it's preparing my video. So that's going to take a couple of minutes to render. And you can see my video is only a minute 34. And I see a little uh, preview as I'm doing this. So it's telling me it's going to be about four minutes before it does everything. And then at that point, I would it would going to download struct. Uh, at that point, it's going to download directly to my computer. It will be an MP4 file, and then I can go ahead and upload that to LinkedIn, and I will have a nice little teaser. I'll put a little blurb about, you know, uh, we've re recently written a blog post. Check it out, and I'll put the link, the whole link to the blog post in my LinkedIn blog post description, in my LinkedIn article description. And there we have it. So that is how you can use this cool tool Lumen to make some really easy peasy marketing videos. And I really like this service. So again, it is five videos per month. Go to lumen5.com, check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Online Marketing Easy Peasy. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe. And also, um, just, you know, if you have any comments, put those in and we'd be happy to answer anything that you need to know. Thanks.